Good morning, folks. It's moving day, or new machine day, rather. So, electric's disconnected. There's the closing uh, Colchester 17-inch lathe. Jared and Noah are working on the bridge port, trying to get the, uh, oh, there we go, got to push forward. There's the horizontal right there. And the radial arm right here. And you know, it's funny, I knew these were difficult to rig. What I learned the other day was um, where you gotta be really careful is that head can swing 180 or all the way around, which means if it's not bolted down to the ground, it can actually tip over if somebody swings it around. So lots to learn there and lots of cleaning to do. Uh, I'm gonna try to grab some footage though throughout the day here. Just getting it on skates right now and, and just learning about where the center of gravity is and um, just learning. go over those creases and bumps so well. That's incredible. Yeah. Just the way they bounce, they distribute the load, I guess. Yeah, with all them wheels, I mean, crosses it. Watch, it's got a great one. little jacks are great. I think, uh, I don't even know what they're rated, 10 but... 10 tons? 10 tons? Oh, 10 tones or whatever that is, but something like 10... So I think that's like 20,000 pounds. They're, they're great and they got these feet that come in and out and pretty cool.
pretty cool how the axles move forward, lowers your pivot point, but you don't have to lift these machines up so high. But that was kind of funny when I realized, oh crap, we gotta load the forklift still. Um, this isn't tipped back much at all though. Nice trailer to have. Cool. So it's almost a week later since we rigged them in. Jared, Noah, and I have all been kind of taking turns. Jared and Noah, to be honest, have been doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Um, cleaning them up though. Uh, we're not even close to getting any of them powered up, but you know, it's perfect. In our free time, we kind of get these, do a little bit of work on them. Um, this thing, I mean, it just cleaned up beautifully. I'm super excited. I took Keith Rucker's tip, which I think came from Brad Jacobs, Basement Machine Shop. Both of these guys have great channels, cards here, check them out. Um, I think we are gonna strip off the paint on this because that's just never gonna get fixed. But it's weird though, because you know, this is so good here. I wonder if that's just from oil splashing around when they used it, I don't know. Um, but, so that's the radial arm. Since he, since, I keep calling it Cincinnati, I guess it's a Cinti mill. Um, cleaned up pretty well as well. I don't think I'll strip this one and try to repaint it. Um, more, honestly, more cleanup to do, but we got the worst of it off for now. To me, this is kind of the pride and joy. I'm super excited for this machine. I need to get it leveled. Like, I think I need to do that today because I don't want it to sit there and get a bow um, and have it blow out tolerance. Um, I do have my grandfather, um, my grandfather's old Starrett. Oh, it was right over here somewhere. Uh, Starrett machinist level, which I'll, I'll put to use. But I mean, this was caked and it's cut, it turned out great. Uh, just, I mean, just so excited to, to put this thing to the test. The uh, Sandvik rep was actually here talking to us about our CNC machines and they got approval to maybe film some stuff with us and so I said hey can you bring over some tooling that we can try to do some real work with this thing on uh, we just took the chuck off oh my god I think that thing weighs I mean I can't even move it um, with my strength from here it is I got a couple hundred pounds lots of tooling which I still have to go through um, this is more than the tooling, by the way, but I think I already showed this in the video. But you know, faceplate, forge, all these things. Look at that, cleaned up great. That is a uh, Bernard Colchester model. I think it says, yeah, made made in England down there. So I believe it's a cast chuck. It's a forge all, which is what I wanted. You know, more tooling, you know, good size drill bits. There's a bunch of these. Some of it's in the other shop. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's walk over there. I'll show you the... Um, 
I'll show you the bridge port real quick. The bridge port we haven't started cleaning up yet because uh, it's, to me, the, the least important right now. In fact, the reason I wanted this one is because it's a pulley head and I want to finish modifying our Bridgeport power drawbar kits so that they work on these pulleys. Uh, a guy named John has been helping me with that. So thanks, John, for your, for your help there. Um, and then honestly, I think we might keep it. We might sell this. It's a smaller uh, size travel and it needs cleaned up, but I think it'll clean up pretty well. Um, so yeah, you can see the step pulley there. So yeah, that's it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something or just got a kick out of it. We'll be back for more. I kind of want to do a video on leveling the lathe because I don't really know what I'm doing there. I have an idea and I'd, I'd love to see if we learn something from it and share it with you guys. So if you guys want to see it, let me know. Otherwise, take care. See you soon.